All right, good morning, boys and girls. Today you're going to finish up, or continue, I shouldn't say finish, your Monarch Butterfly. Okay, this is kind of our end goal. Today you're just gonna get your orange and yellow and white colors on your Monarch Butterfly. Um, and then the next time I see you, we'll make the body and the antenna for it. Um, this is what it looks like if you were here last time. And for those of you who were not, I did make a few extra, so you could just have my extra. We made the monarch butterfly, we folded it in half, did a printing process, we learned about symmetry, how this half of the butterfly looked like this half of the butterfly, and today you're going to fill in those empty white areas with paint sticks um, instead of paint. So I'm going to show you how these work. These are really cool, okay? Paint sticks are paint, except in a stick form. They were very similar to glue sticks. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the top off and push it up just slightly not a lot okay and you're going to use it like a glue stick except what comes out instead of glue um sticky glue is a really beautiful um paint it still will need to go in the drying rack even though it's not going to be like really wet it's wet enough that it still needs to dry and you don't want to put them in your drawer and stick together so anyways so here you go um i am going to leave colors out for you that are that the monarch butterflies are which is oranges yellows and white and you'll notice I'm covering all of my white areas you want to cover up the white part of your butterfly the best you can you can leave some areas white if you choose and notice I am not coloring all that you're gonna see why in a minute you're able to see some of the white paper through these are really cool by the way I love these I don't think we've used them here yet so I thought what a cool time to use them. So you're just going to cover it however you want. When you are done, you do need to turn it down a little bit because you don't want to put the top on. If it's up all the way, you'll squish the paint and it'll get ruined. And you do need to make sure you snap that cap on because just like markers, these dry out really easily. And then I'm going to take a little bit of yellow. And the cool thing about paint sticks is a kind of blend just like paint does and see where all those white areas I missed I'm gonna go ahead and fill in um, with the yellow so you'll start to see how that yellow builds on top of that orange any of those little spots I missed when I was coloring with orange okay oh I love it these are so so cool. These are really cool, cool, cool. Oh, so neat, huh? I'm going to go in with a little bit more orange. I think I'm going to do this some orange. some white to help blend those colors even more. I'm going to make this a light orange by adding white. Kind of keep going around and notice how as soon as I add the white on top of it, it starts to lighten it a little bit. You are going to add white dots with white oil pastel, which I'm pretty sure we don't have. So give me a second to go grab my white oil pastels. All right. Hold on. All right. So when you're done with the paint sticks and you love it, sorry about that, guys. You're going to take a white oil pastel next, and you're going to make the white dots that monarch butterflies have all around 
wherever you want. They're kind of like ladybugs. Their dots are all kind of each different and unique, just like we are, and just like ladybugs are, okay? Um, you can put as many or as few white dots that you want, but the white dots are only to go on the black paint that you painted last time, okay? And you're just gonna keep going until you're happy with your beautiful monarch butterfly. The biggest rule about the paint sticks and the oil pastel is to be very soft and gentle, okay? If you press too hard, you'll break the paint stick or ruin it. And if you press too hard with the oil pastel because it's uh, made with oils, not wax, like crayons are, you'll break it. So just be real soft and gentle. Whenever you're done, even though it's not super wet, it's wet enough, you are going to need to put these on the drying rack just to make sure they don't get stuck together in your drawer. Then you're going to turn the paint down, just like you would with a glue stick. Put the cap on all the way. And then return them to the box at your table. And you're done. When you are done, your butterfly is going to go on the drying rack. You may wash your hands because your hands will probably be messy, especially with the oil pastel. And then you can sit on the carpet and watch some fun butterfly books. All right, guys, I can't wait to see how these turn out. Have a great day.